his blue eye perceives all things conjoined the past the future and the present everything flows and all is connected this eye is not merely seeing reality it is touching the truth I just got permission to hunt this land across the road from my house and I went in October 21st that night and I set up a stand. It took me a couple hours. It was pretty tough to get up there, but in the end it ended up working out. And I got settled in the next day and immediately started seeing deer activity. So basically where I live, the beginning of the rut is generally around November 7th. But because of the fact that it's gotten pretty cold pretty fast. Everyone's predicting that it's gonna be a really early rut this year. So, we're gonna, I don't know. We're gonna, we might try grunting tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna rattle, but I brought antlers just in case. But we're gonna try grunting on this fork and see if he comes in just to test this out because I'm already seeing deer chase does. I saw him fall on two does. My buddy shot a buck. A few days ago, Philip, we didn't end up finding it because I think he hit it in the shoulder, but just they're chasing does already. So we're going to try grunting, maybe rattle, see if anything comes in. We're still in pre rut. The rut hasn't started, but it's November 22nd and we're already starting to see rutting activity. So we're going to grunt a few times and see what happens. So one doe just came through and I didn't get the camera up in time and didn't have my bow ready. So I wasn't able to shoot her, but we are willing to take a doe tonight. So, I mean, whatever, whatever we see we'll take, well, not a tiny doe obviously or a little buck, but I mean, if another doe comes out, we'll take it. That was weird. It came from this direction over here downwind of me. I expected it to be coming from the other direction to be going somewhere to feed so I don't know where I was walking on. And I had just grunted and rattled. I had just grunted a few times so that was weird that that doe came in but I'm gonna keep alert because there's deer moving tonight and let's see if maybe get a shot on a doe or a buck. We'll see. Does started moving in right away. And they'd stare at me for a while, wander around. They were trying to smell me, couldn't figure anything out. They'd wander through the trees. All that took probably 40 minutes. But after they wandered off, it started to get hot. So I took the mask off, put some paint on my face, and all of a sudden I saw this buck in the distance. And it was probably two, 300 yards away. I didn't have my binoculars, and I was just looking at it on my little camera screen. So obviously it was not super easy to see. So I thought it was this tall fork that we'd been watching and I was like, okay, great, this fork's back. But watching footage, I realized it's a hitless buck we call Tall 10. And I thought he would come down through the woods, through those trees, and I figured he'd come right at me because I grunted and he started walking towards me, but some does walked behind him and he followed them out. So I didn't end up getting a shot on him.
is pounding on me right now, so it is way too hot for a mask. So we're gonna put a little camo on. A little paint so the beer don't see my face moving around as easily. and see if he comes in. I haven't seen much deer activity. It's probably been 20, 30 minutes, but all of a sudden I see the big eight pointer. And I mean, he's he's a solid eight pointer. He's old. I've been watching him for a couple years, but I spot him off to the right down the fence line, directly downwind of me. And he stared at me for like 20 minutes. And I was getting scared, I was shaking. I didn't want to move. I didn't record any of this because I didn't want to move because he's staring at me and my batteries were low and I wanted to make sure if I got a shot that it was on video. So I ended up not videotaping that, but then he walked behind some trees and I didn't see him for like 20 more minutes. So I'm thinking, okay, he crossed the fence line or he walked off and I didn't see it, but all of a sudden his rack starts popping out from behind this tree and that's when I started filming and the hunt was on.
to God that that was on video. Once again, I forgot to turn the tactic cam on, so I don't know if it was on video on this camera, but I pray to God it was because I just smoked a big eight pointer. I mean, I smoked it like he started rolling down there. We're gonna hike out of here, get back home, and maybe call a couple of buddies. Oh, I'm shaking like a leaf. And then hopefully come get him, but I hope that was on camera. I'm gonna check right now if it was. After the shot, I obviously wasn't sure. You can hear me say in the background, oh, I can't tell if I hit him, but I knew it was a solid shot. I just immediately, when he was just standing there, I got nervous. But I went back to watch the footage and thought, oh, it might be a little high, but I think it's definitely lungs because I'm 25 feet in the tree stand and I'm shooting downhill. So even if it is a little high, the arrow's coming in at a high angle. So we concluded that the deer's definitely down and obviously you saw it die on footage. So we went out to look for it. All right, I'm with Philip. Just shot the buck, or well, probably an hour ago. Watch the video, it looks like it was a little high and back, but the exit looked perfect. So, I mean, he stumbled, he's down. We're gonna go get him. He's definitely down. Take some pictures, some videos, Ooh. and then, uh, I don't know, try <laughs> to drag him out. Yeah. It's gonna be a That'd heck be of a drag. All right, uh, forgot to turn the camera on when we found it, but as you can see, there's a lot of blood here. There's actually where he died, but we dragged him up to start field dressing him. Phillip's doing work on him right now. There he is. Phillip, you wanna take, oh, you can't take over the camera, can you? No. All right, Phillip can't take over the camera, but get some video of me holding that at home, but there he is. Not a bad eight pointer. Really excited, I've had this deer on camera all year. Finally got a shot on it. As you can see, we found the deer. Everything was good. It was late, Sunday night. We had school the next day. So Philip helped me drag it and gut it and everything. And then my buddy Andy came and helped drag it. And me and him went out and him, he did most of the work all night. We were skinning it and taking the meat off and stuff. So it got pretty late. So I didn't do much filming after me and Philip found the deer, but it was my first successfully filmed bow hunt. So for a buck, all for anything actually, but it's pretty awesome, so I got some pictures I can show you of them. Don't have any video of them after after the one where me and Philip found them, but it was an awesome hunt and definitely one I'm gonna remember forever. Thanks for watching and probably see me ice fishing on the next grind season outdoors. Mm -hmm.